Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Y'all, welcome back. Welcome back. Come on into the house and cock a squat. Sit down in your favorite chair on your sofa or wherever. And let's get this conversation started. Yes, I hope y'all had a beautiful work day. Or if you're retired and you just do whatever you make it do. I hope you had a good day doing that. But y'all, when I heard about this, I was almost almost asleep, I believe I was. My daughter came in the room and had to give me the 411. And y'all know, my mind was like, ooh, let me get up and talk to my family about this mess. But my body said, no, 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 no. <laughs> and so I stayed in the bed, y'all. But it was a hot mess. I cannot believe Nene done put her ass out there like that. I mean, it's like her, she done uh, bent over and her ass showing. She ain't got no panties on or anything. And anybody can slap it. Whip it, rub it down, however they want to see it. Okay, or do it, rather. I was like, I know, Needy. I know she ain't doing what I think she doing. I'm like, are you creating career suicide? Do you know you 54 years old? Do you know you 54 years old? Did you invest in retirement with the Social Security Administration? Did you pay in the benefits? So when you do turn 62, 65, 78, whenever you want to go out the door, you could be getting your Social Security check from the government. Versus if, well, I, you know, I would have said if you still be working. So I hope this lawsuit that you are embarking on I hope it works out for you. But I would be remiss if I didn't tell you to slow your roll. Hold your mule. Because even if you came off and won the settlement that you are seeking. One bad anything. One bad accident. One bad medical condition. One bad something. Do you think all that money is going to pay for a hospital bill? I'm not wishing anything on you because it may not even be you. It may be a family member. It may be someone that you love. I don't know what the circumstances is, but I've been accustomed to knowing people who have invested well, who are invested in their pensions and stock market, and something came in with an illness. They didn't have no insurance, all that shit. They had to pay out of pocket. Do you understand what you are embarking on, Nene? Do you understand? Girl. I'm like, you out there still taking photographs of possible things you would want to buy. And I'm pretty sure them shades for $1,000. And only thing you're doing is paying for the name. That shit can break just like a $5, $15, $30 pair of shades. Shoes can be worn out. But you probably would pay $3,000 for those pair of shoes right there. I'm like, why in the hell are you out there running the streets over in another country? Do you not know what Pandora's box you opened up, girlfriend? And it all is coming back to me now. Now I see why you took off and caught yourself leaving the country. Because you knew what kind of bombshell you were setting off. I mean, you set this shit off. You pretty much gave the middle finger up on both of your hands and said, I will burn Bravo Entertainment down. 
That's what you said in your mind. And you went quick, fast, in a, er a hurry. Said all this junk about somebody's following you. Somebody's black balling you. Somebody's black listing you. All of this stuff. All of this drama. But no accountability on your part. Do you know how nasty you have been to just some people out here that wants to take the time to get to know you, shake your hand, take a selfie, tell you how wonderful you are on the show in person, da da dee da 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 and you pretty much sit up there and ask them to give you 44, 55, 78 feet away from you, not 6 feet. So I'm wondering, are you going through a ritual? Did you get with the who's who, who Wendy Williams crew float with, or any other higher paid actor or actress or entertainer out there? Are you going through an initiation or ritual where everything is put down on you and they're trying to see how strong you are when the masses are against you, girl? Okay. Because I know you love to live that Hollywood. I call it Hollywood life. And you want it. But how those folks get down. They be drinking blood. They be uh, having all these sex orgies. They be camp putting out spells. And this that and the third. I mean have you canceled your life. And you want to be up there. Probably sacrificing people. They ain't. Do you want to be doing all of that stuff. I mean it's your God. That you serve by from that Satan. What is it girl. Because you ain't thinking. It seems like ever since Greg left, you've been out, strung out, doing everything against what Greg had wanted you to be a part of. He wanted you to have peace. He wanted you to have a companion because he didn't want you to be alone. He wanted you to be loved. And all the thing you out here doing is hateful, spiteful, boot. Elfed up shit, Nene. This is basically what you are doing. And then it was like, did you taunt Andy Cohen, girl? Did you taunt Andy Cohen by telling the world, the masses, that you and Andy would need to have a conversation? Y'all would need to have a sit-down talk. Because you even just recently said that they were paying off people not to represent you. But how did you come off and get a lawyer to represent you to go file in the Fulton County Courthouse here in Atlanta, Georgia? You see how kind of fucked up shit? You just keep lying. You put lying on top of lying on top of lying. Karma is going to come, Nene. Karma is going to come because you are being messy. You even pulling out people that don't even work for um, Bravo anymore or they are not even on the show of Real Housewives of Atlanta you are endangering other people's liability and viability when it comes to being independent contractors working for a show an entity a con you know a, a place of business I mean, you know, I know you don't give a crap about Candy. I know you don't give a crap about Kenya. But did you ever think about Marlo? Did you ever think about Sheree? Did you ever think about the other women that are on the show trying to make it do what it do? Because Lord knows you've been on the show enough to be a billionaire. If you played your cards right. If you, if you invested your money right. I mean, God damn. You, everybody think Bravo is supposed to be there for them. Until they die or something. Bravo is just a stepping stone to something bigger. I mean, if you have spent four or five years on Bravo. And you've been definitely using your platform to sell your goods. That you call yourself want to be out there doing. Damn, give it up. Go somewhere else. Because right now I'm tired of Candy. Candy knows she's been holding on. Now nah, everybody been saying when I talk about her. Why she need Bravo and this, that, and third. Yeah, she don't need Bravo. She got money. She, if she had so much money, people. These people would not be holding on to this check. That Bravo wants them to pretty much make a fool out of themselves. To be able 
to do some strange things to get a little change, okay, which they think is a, you know, high price. They living off the hall. They doing this, that, and the third. But Candy can't get her taxes together. You see what I'm saying? But I just got off a tangent. I'm just comparing when people say, oh, no, they got this. But then go on and retire. Leave that shit alone. Go on and floss somewhere else. Sit your ass down somewhere else. Be in your business. Your business that you have formed from the ground up and let it grow. You don't need to be sitting on somebody else's show. And then in the back time making it do what it do. And you claiming to have all this, that, and the third. No, the two don't even work right. They don't even work together. You're either going to be working for somebody, a worker bee, or you're going to be owning something and sitting down and letting it flourish and, and, and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Where you get smaller and smaller and smaller, meaning you being put in the background, but you watching over everything. And see, that's why I don't like about candy. It's like, damn, you don't bit off the apple. You damn near don't grow another apple, but you still won't let that tree grow. And that's greed. It's almost that something you should have only four or five years on the show in a clean house and get four or five more, six more members to let them go four or five years. That's what it's supposed to be. That is what I saw in a reality show. We don't want to keep seeing the same people ten years from now. You see what I'm saying? And Bravo has definitely given them the opportunity to grow, to get what they had to get, and move the elf on. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's not going to like you or, or value you the same way that you want to be valued. They're not going to keep paying you the salary because ratings are going up. The big chiefs are making money. Hell, they had to invest all the money to get the project started. I'm like, Nene, baby, girl, listen to me. Did you put any of your money, your hard work and money into making Bravo or the Real Housewives of Atlanta because anybody could have came on here and cut the food like you cut the food you don't need no education you don't need no coaching you don't need no 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 uh schooling you don't you don't need nothing but just go over there and act a damn fool and that's what you have been you utilizing and doing for the last 10 plus years and you still can't get the shit right you still you greedy you greed. You and Candy are the most greediest women that I know. You don't want to let nobody else have something. And it's just too much. You want us to be with you, but yet you hollering racism. You hollering discrimination. You hollering this and the third. But yet you still were working for these people. I'd be damned if I'm going to work for somebody that don't value me. That's going to make me be in a hostile working environment where I have to hate myself or hate driving into work and have to sit in the park and let to talk myself to go in. I'm not finna do that. I've been there before. I've been there. I know what it is to not like a job. And you have to improve yourself. Go to school. Get a degree. Do what it make it do. But you can't keep asking people to pay you X, Y, Z when you don't, you're not giving them anything of substance. So they can say they can make 10 ninnies. They can make 10 cams to do the same shit because it don't require any talent. But I was like, God damn, Nene. You have the audacity to not only take a stranger that you met, parlay him around the country, the freaking globe if you may, because you don't ran away. You don't want nobody to bother you. Don't want nobody to call you. Don't want no paparazzi in Atlanta to follow you. Because you knew what you were going to do before you left for Accra, Africa. You knew what bomb you were going to set off. And I wouldn't be surprised if she never showed up. She might go to Spain next. Because she just want to, I guess, to come back when the coast is clear. And it's time for her to go to court. And, you know, and, and she just appear each and every day. Because if you think Kim Zosiac going to be on your side. If you think Candy Burris, Portia Williams, Sheree Whitfield, your bestie, Marlo Hampton, and any other new girls going to be on your side. You think they're going to talk against the people that are still paying them? So they can get to a good place. 
and you were just at some expo in Atlanta uh, uniting women and you were just hugging up on Kim, uh, Kim Zosiac but you gonna say you had to put up with all her racist ways her, I mean discrimination racism don't nobody want to look at not the bigger society not the bigger picture they don't give a shit if discrimination and racism ever go away that's something the lord himself has got to come in and straighten it out man has failed because man has been wanting greed power all the satanic stuff that you know about that you're taught when you're young when you're growing spiritually there's a spiritual warfare that's out there that's playing out in society and we are the inhabitants to that you either gonna be for that money chasing that money or doing bad things to people to get that money or you gonna be knowing what your value is and you're going to live in your means and that you're going to do things the way you need to do things in the proper fashion don't make don't let the money make you you make the money don't chase the money let the chasing meaning the opportunities that people can offer you let them approach you that's why I say I can't get with you no more, Nene. I can't get with Candy no more because y'all don't know when enough is enough. And this is too much. You're doing too much. You're not doing something for injustice. You're doing something for yourself. You're not fighting the bigger cause out there. You're just fighting for yourself. Now, how can anything good come out of this Nini Lanithia Monique leaks? You're out there fooling with a married man. You out there trying to take a whole organization down. I mean, damn, if you pull this off, you should go try to work with the government to get crime under control, to get trafficking under control. But the bigger picture, you only see yourself. And I want to know. And the people on my YouTube family platform, we want to know. Once you get this shit solved, you get your money. Do you actually think somebody is going to want to work with you? So my thing for you, baby... You better make sure you get enough coins up in that pocket from that lawsuit to, let, to uh, provide you a lifetime or because we don't know the Lord going to call us home whenever we just don't know. But you don't need to be worried about any more money because nobody is going to touch you with a 10 foot pole. See this, this path you're going down it cuts both ways. It's a double sword type of situation. You win the money aspect, but you don't win any more job opportunities. You see what I'm saying? It would have been different if you had got with your other black sisters and came with this situation and brought it to the forefront that we need to do something about this. But you did. You sat there. You did what it did make it do until they didn't want you anymore. Then you start rattling the chains up and out like setting me free. Setting me free. But. They got rid of you, Nene. They got rid of you because you're toxic. You're toxic to them and you're toxic to yourself. And you tried to run something that wasn't even yours that you didn't invest in. You didn't put your hard work and tears or your money. Which was the biggest piece of the puzzle when you got anything coming off ground flow. You got to be there with that revenue and good credit to get things popping. But you didn't come in like that. They could have made several ninis. They could have cloned you girl. Or they could have got 10, 12, 50 more people to act crazy like you did on this show. 
Because where there's one, there's always another one on the way. Don't ever put yourself that you think you can't ever be replaced. But that's all I got to say, y'all. Let's get into this particular situation. Because I gave y'all as many aspects. I can look at the whole deal. And I don't see Nene coming out of it. Either way. Win or not win. I don't see her ever being able to work in entertainment again. But anyway. We're going to go to an article. That was on. It says G W G N T V. What is that? That's not 46 News. But it's with the Associated Press. They called it. Nene Leak sues. Saying racism accepted on Real Housewives. Okay. Now I want her to find them other black women on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's doing something. That's accepting their paycheck. And ain't saying shit. I want to see her get them on her team. But anyway, it says, Nene Leakes arrives at the NBC Universal Golden Globes after party at the Beverly Hills Hotel in January of 2017 in Beverly Hills, California. Former star of the Real Housewives of Atlanta Leakes sued the companies behind the show on Wednesday, April the 20th, 22. Sidebar. That's why she going around him traveling. That's why she can't sit still in one place. Because she done set a bomb off in Atlanta. And there's repercussions. Because of Nene, you don't think these people have been watching you. Have been seeing you. Saying what you need to be saying. Or you say it what you needed to say in the social media platform. You don't think they got lawyers on deck. To bring up footage. To show how you were loving on Kim Zosiak recently. Even at that woman's expo that just happened last year. You were hugging up on Kim Zosiac, the one you said make racist uh, comments towards you. You were accepting. You even called her your friend and you wanted to get back with her. You know? And then you said you wanted to come back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. Damn, make it make sense. You're double talking yourself and you're talking out the side of your neck. And what you did have as some type of litigation. Well, like what do you call it? Legitimacy. About there was some unforeseen stuff that was said and done, and you didn't think it was appropriate. That's the time when you figured that out was to make smoke signals. Where they say there's smoke, there's fire. And you could have collaborated with your other castmates to see what they wanted to do to make a better living situation for filming because these are your livelihood when you participate six months out the year on a show because the other six months you're going to be promoting or doing a little bit stuff but it's not going to be filmed so you really tied up the whole year when it comes to sitcom shows you can barely not do anything or have any other obligations while as far as making movies or this that and the third but moving on Moving on, it said um, April 20th, 2022, alleging that they fostered and tolerated a hostile and racist work environment. It names as defendants NBC Universal, Bravo Production Companies, True Entertainment, and Truly Original. Executives from the companies and Housewives, exec executive producer Andy Cohen. <laughs> Okay, former star of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Nene Leak sued the companies behind the show on Wednesday, alleging that they fostered and tolerated a racist work environment. The lawsuit filed in federal court in Atlanta says Leaks, who is black, now she want to be black, but she dressed and look, well, I ain't going to say dressing, she tries to look like a white woman. And I was so glad, hopefully, her boyfriend, so-called cheater, um, whatever he is, that Naomi, 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 him. Uh, he probably told her to calm that blonde down, put some black and brown in it because she don't have it real, like total blonde out there, like a blonde bomb blonde shell. She ain't looking like that no more. 
she had to tone that down. I'm pretty sure he was behind that. Because she wanted to be just like that. You know what I'm saying? Looking a hot mess. But anyway. Um, who is black complained to executives about years of racist remarks from fellow housewife Kim Zosiak Berryman. Who is white? But that only leaks suffered consequences meaning she but then why were you going over kim's house why were y'all eating dinner together and lunch why were y'all parlaying that was stuff off the camera off the show why were you doing stuff off the show with her if you felt she was racist nene i'm sure they're gonna play that to you many times over that's that wasn't a fourth situation but anyway going back it says it named as defendants nbc universal bravo production companies true entertainment truly original and andy cohen but not zosiac beerman so she ain't got no money anyway but the point that you're gonna throw her in the pot of soup that you're uh melting down to take part of nene uh you were bringing out her but you want to put her as a uh, person you want to sue that's piss poor because you're saying she did all this to you wouldn't it be that she would have to take some accountability as well so why did you not include Kim Zosiak in your lawsuit you should have it made more sense since she is the one that made all these racial comments to you about you for you but anyway, NBC Bravo and True foster a corporate, a corporate and workplace uh, culture in which racially insensitive and inappropriate behavior is tolerated, if not encouraged, the suit says. Representatives for NBC Universal declined comment. Email sent to representatives for the other defendants that uh, have Zosiac Beerman seeking comment were not immediately returned. No, because she's probably on bravo's payroll as well she probably more than likely has representation from bravo okay so now she ain't gonna say shit they don't want her to say shit then it says leaks 54 a tv personality and actor now we need to just cut that out because nina you ain't bitten on no actress out there okay you, you you're not uh homegrown you didn't go to school for it you just go out there and act the ass and they just tape you but anyway, um, it says the defendant's name is, uh, uh, petitioner's name is Lanithia Monique Leakes. Spent several seasons as one of the central stars of the Real Housewives of Atlanta between 2008 and 2020. It alleges that during the first season, which aired in 2008, the cast was planning to attend a barbecue. The housewife, Kim Zosiak Beerman, responded to the idea with words to the effect of, I don't want to sit around with Nene and eat chicken. The suit says the statement perpetuated an offensive stereotype about African Americans. Okay, that's the same thing about Wallen Millen, the Wallen Millen joke, or the picnic table. Yeah, if we have bad heritage that is grown and ingrained into children who grow up to follow in their parents' footsteps if they so choose to raise them that way. Because racism ain't went nowhere discrimination against uh, minorities and women haven't went anywhere and age i should put out there as well <sighs> anyway the suit says in 2020 well 2012 during the fifth season zodiac and uh, beerman made the racial offensive and stere stereotypical comments about the new home of housewives candy burris calling her a neighborhood a ghetto and perpetuating a racial stereotype in an offensive comment about whether Burris needed a swimming pool. That same year the suit says Zosiac Beerman used the n-word to refer to Leaks and others of the housewives after a dispute with them. The suit alleges it also alleges Zosiac Beerman falsely implied that Leaks used drugs and called her home a roach nest. The suit says after Leaks complaints to the executive overseeing the show, they did not terminate their relationship with Zosiac Beerman, nor take any other meaningful action to put an end to her racially offensive behavior, and if anything, rewarded her by giving her own spinoff show. Now, okay, Nene, when you want us to say just that in 30, you want us to jump on your bad wagon, can we understand some of the things you have said, even to your black sisters? 
Okay? You have said some racially motivating things. Degrading them. As well. Okay? Do we need to pull that trick out on you? And then, you sitting up there saying... Um... Everything that Kim did was racially motivated. Then why did you hang around her? Why didn't you protest then? Out loud. In social media. That you're stressed out. Because you're having to have to. Work around these horrible conditions. Even when Carlos King was there. Why didn't you say anything? You did not. You just continue on. Making your money. Because you were the highest paid employee over there at the time and you saw more opportunities so you shut up so my thing is why don't you shut up now okay but that's just me talking okay but going back it says from the day the series began filming nini was the target of systematic racism from her co-stars kim zozek beerman which was tolerated by bravo executives producer andy coin and the other executives lease lawyer david derupitis said in a statement okay and she continues to say even in season 13 she still uh she was uh well it says the suit alleges that her comp complaints to the racist led in part to leaks being forced off the show in 2020 behind its 13th season the suit alleges negotiation for the season came as the Black Lives Matter movement was gaining uh, major momentum with leaks a vocal supporter. But what did you come to the table with, Nene? Did you come like Candy and said, I want to see more black producers, executives being awarded jobs at the show? Minorities of color? Did you come with that impact? No, you didn't travel agency that you have to use to go take all these trips did you get a minority company to book the flights and trips that y'all were partaking of did you come with that idea no you didn't so see Nene, you see how everything just slides to everything needs to be on you because you're not that educated Nene. you don't know how to play the game the game played you and now you want to holler foul 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 does it make sense? No, it do not. And then she goes on to say in the uh, lawsuit, uh, it alleges that the defendant's actions violated federal employment and anti-discrimination laws and it seeks monetary damages to be determined at trial. Now, all this stuff, Nene, your lawyers got to prove, and it's damn hard to prove racism and discrimination against minorities when Portia is not going to say anything, Candy is not going to say anything, Marlo is not going to say anything, Sheree is not going to say anything. Hell, the whole black cast that they're still over there trying to make it do what it do, making their money to supply and, and, and uh, be able to <coughs> support their families. They're not going to say anything, Nene. It's not going to be about no retaliation. They just don't want to risk. Because they don't see that it would be beneficial to everybody. They see it just being beneficial to you. So while you sitting up here shoe shopping, window shoe shopping, you need to be with your lawyers trying to figure out what is the best way to attack this. Because you don't put it out there now. That bomb has been displayed and it's just raging like a, a fire right now. A raging tornado. It could go either way. And then say if you fail. Who gonna hire you, Nene? Who, and, and Ray's famous words, who gonna check you, boo? Who gonna assign some, some uh, what do you call it, checks and issue them out to you for you to go to the bank and cash them. Who's going to work with you, Nene? Say you win the case. All right? You set for a set amount of time. We don't know how much the money you have to go and make it do what it do. What you going to do then, Nene? Because ain't nobody trying to employ you. 
So again, it's a lose-lose situation because you didn't play your cards right. When shit was happening, you should have been documenting, getting your other people to document with you, and then it would have been a slam dunk. But right now, I still don't see it being a slam dunk because it's too many loopholes. Too many loopholes. And you know Bravo is going to come with the comeback. They're not going to take what you're saying as bulletproof. Like, ooh, they done been shot down. No, that's not what it's going to be. That's all I got, y'all. I ain't got no more. Because I tell you, Nene just, she too much. She was just on that College Hill afterthought show. That's really made for people that's trying to go to college for the first time. I guess that wasn't enough to supplement anything. So she said, uh-uh. We got to do better. So why are these lawyers taking your case? Win or lose for you. They don't care because they're going to get their money. And you're going to be sitting out there looking like a little homeless nut. So I want to know. Fam, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Is it a career suicide movement she's headed for? Why is she really doing this? Is her money drying up? I mean, if you ain't got no one coming in, when you still have not to pay your bills on a regular basis each month, it is being depleting. But is this the safest way you could have went, Nene? Because to me, it seemed like you were trying to draw And out. You were trying to get And in a room and blackmail him and really blackmail the company. Say, if you don't do this for me, you don't put me back on the show, you don't pay me this much, I'm finna go and tell them everything I know. So why are you trying to set the whole house on fire, Bravo Entertainment, True and Original Entertainment? Child, they may just have the right stuff to put that shit out and still dismiss you. I mean, because they're a big engine. They're a big industry. They can afford to lose a little to get you away from the scene. And then they start rebuilding, restocking, getting new people and rebranding themselves and get bigger. Why are you going to be steadily going down, 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 down? I don't know what you've been doing since Gregory Le Leakes left your life. But it's in the toilet right now. It's in the toilet. And you don't lit the match on yourself. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Got no more. Okay? So y'all get down and tell me what y'all about. About this ridiculousness Nene is doing. And how she's approaching it. Because it could have been done right. But she didn't plot it right. She didn't form it right. And she damn sure ain't living it right. Because <clears throat> ain't nowhere in the world I'm going to be tracing around the country. Just to come back and go straight into the courthouse to defend myself. That ain't going to happen. I'm going to be there and be fighting it from day one to the day it ends. Come what may, if that's the way she really felt about it. But a damn show ain't going to be putting nobody on no freebie trip where they can be my companion. And we travel from one country to the next country to the next country to the next country. Spending up all your money. Nene, bye. Y'all get in them comments and I will see y'all next video.